Hi there, welcome to a video in which we revise in five minutes integration of parametric equations. If you need more detail on these topics, do see the YouTube channel with detailed tutorials. Okay, firstly, what do you need to know? Well, let's deal with area first of all. Okay, we should know uh, what integration is all about. And we should know, let's say, if we have a curve, y equals f of x, and we want to find the area uh, of, of a portion under the curve, say between x is a and x is b, we want to find this area. We should be able to do this by integration. And we should say that the area is the integral between x is a and x is b of y, or f of x, with respect to x. Now suppose um, our x and our y, suppose x was actually uh, a function of t and y was a function of t, um, then we can uh, define the area parametrically. The area is also, if the curve is given parametrically, the integral um, between uh, t is equal to t1 and t is equal to t2. That would be the t1 that made x equal a and the t2 that made x equal b. y in terms of t, and then what you would do is you would have a dx by dt and dt here. That is the formula you need to know for the area between two points of a curve given parametrically. Okay, It's very like this formula here. You can think of it in a way, sometimes you can think it's almost the exact same, apart from instead of between x numbers, it's between t numbers. y is now given in terms of t, not in terms of x. And you can have a dx dt dt instead of just dx. So that's a formula you need to be able to uh, use um, to find the area under a curve given parametrically. Okay, next thing, um, let's deal with a volume. Uh, you also need to know about the volume. And in general, you should know this as well. Um, with the volumes of uh, revolution, say you had a curve and you were dealing with a particular area under the curve, again, between x is equal to a and x is equal to b, and the curve was y equal f of x. And you swept that area around the x-axis, so actually it turned out looking... Like a, like a shape as follows. So you swept that out so it was a volume around the x-axis. In general, the volume formula is pi multiplied by the integral between x is a and x is equal to b, y squared dx. When the curve is given parametrically, when y is given in terms of a parameter t and so is x given in terms of a parameter t, then the new formula the volume is going to be still pi, but this time between t equals t1 and t equals t2, okay, of still y squared, but y of t, it's given as a function of t squared, and then you're going to have here dx by dt, dt. Okay, so this is the formula you need to be able to use uh, in order to find the volume of revolution when a curve is given parametrically. How do the questions come up? Well, these questions... It's usually either uh, to find the area of a curve given parametrically or it's to find the volume. So you just need to know the two formulas and be able to use them and that's it for these type of questions. Thanks for watching.